Good afternoon. My name is Jordan Lyles, and joining me today, I have Mr. Eric Darius. How are you today? I'm great, Jordan. How are you? I'm doing great. So, Mr. Darius, you are a saxophonist. Could you tell me more about your experience and your background as a jazz musician? Absolutely. You know, my journey started early on. I was a 10 year old kid and uh, my parents exposed me to all styles of music growing up. Uh, but I started playing the saxophone and just had a passion for music. And uh, one joined this band called America's Youngest Jazz Band by the time I was 11 years old. And um, it was literally a band of 30 kids. We were traveling all around the world. I performed at the Mancho Jazz Festival in Switzerland the time I was 11 years old. And uh, it was that time in my life when I was performing in front of thousands of people as an 11 year old kid, that I just fell in love with music and performing and jazz and just connecting with the audience. And I decided at that point that I wanted to pursue music for the rest of my life. So that's where really my career started. Uh, so by the time I was 13 years old, I started my own band. I was performing all around Tampa Bay, which is my hometown, performing at restaurants, bars, clubs, restaurants, uh, studied music, at uh, Blake High School of the Arts, Performing Arts High School. There I was in a marching band, jazz band, wind ensemble, jazz combo, basketball team, soccer team, track team. And I was doing over a hundred shows a year as a 14 year old uh, sophomore, uh, no freshman. And uh, I started recording, working on my own music, released my first album by the time I was 16, uh, still studying at Blake High School. And then I went on to uh, study music and business at the University of South Florida. And it was there my sophomore year in college that I got my first record deal. And uh, that's when my career just took off, uh, released my first internationally re released album uh, in 2004 called Night on the Town. And uh, since then I've gone on to release seven albums. I've performed worldwide with artists like Prince, Mary J. Blige, Jimmy Fox, David Foster, um, and so many incredible artists. I've had so many amazing opportunities um, five number one billboard hits. And uh, it's just a blessing just following my dream, but it just started with the dream and I'm here today following that. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. It's a pleasure. And I'm so excited to hear that you will be here on Delaware State Campus October 15th, this Friday in the Martin Luther King building. Yes, I'm so excited to be coming and uh, working with the students. And I actually started this campaign called On a Mission in the Schools. I go to different elementary, middle schools, high schools, and colleges all around the country to spread the importance of music education, inspire the kids about following their dreams, and exposing them to jazz. So I'm really excited about coming to Delaware State this Friday, working with the kids, and we're going to have an amazing time. All right. So you'll be here at 12 o'clock in the Martin Luther King building. What brings you here to Delaware? Well, I'm actually performing at the Rehoboth Beach Jazz Festival. Um, in Rehoboth Beach at the Convention Center at eight o'clock Friday night, along with incredible violinist Damien Escobar. So it's gonna be an action-packed show. So I'm really looking forward to everything that's in store this Friday. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for sharing with me. I'm definitely gonna try to get to that jazz festival and I'm very excited to see you on October 15th at 12 o'clock. I cannot wait. Thanks so much for having me and I will see you there.